Hey YouTube, welcome to another video. Uh, another big uh, try on. We're doing it from three different stores Ross, Hot Topic, and Torrid to see how they all look, how they all fit. And so we'll get started on that. First up is the Monsta X K pop big logo 2X black shirt. Um, it's too tight for me at the neck. It goes right up to the neck, which is annoying. It's actually 2X that we found in store because it wouldn't let us purchase online anything. But we had the hot cash, and that's also what we had for Torrid, was the Torrid hot cash too. But it fits pretty well on the body. It's just the neck is uncomfortable. And the sleeves are a little bit tight, not terrible but they kind of get stuck when you start moving or like pull a bit and this is it with the bra on it's again just too tight up the neck for me well actually with the bra on it does like pull the neck away a bit more it's still not comfortable but it's more comfortable than without and this is the largest size i could find in store was 2x and this is the only band that I'm interested in that had 2X. And none of their other clothes went above an extra large. And most of their clothes didn't even go to extra large in store. This one is the Youngblood PPK in a weird time extra large. Uh, 1X. 1X. Oh, yeah, just extra large. Yeah, never mind. I think that's what 1X is anyway. Yeah. Uh, with the PPK, I just kind of realized that means, uh, pop punk, mm -hmm. um, is how they're classifying Youngblood. Um, along with that, let me get closer. The front logo, we're in a weird time of life, is completely different to the one on the back. See there on the back, he's doing a weird face, where on the front, he's just kind of normal, praying. But, um, again, all the shirts seem to be about the same length, which is kind of annoying, because the bigger shirts should actually be longer. Um, but this feels the same length as the Monster X one. I mean, I'm not super positive, because I'd have to have them on at the same time, or it's only I figured out, or drawn lines. But again, the 1X is way too tight on the arms for me. I think you can see how it like bulges a bit. And the neck is again, it's okay with the bra on, but they're long enough. They're just not comfortable. And maybe that's because they're men's cut that they're even that long. Cause I can't fit the women's cut like at all. This is it without the bra. Um, the neck is actually looser on this one completely than on the 2X, the Monster X. Like, it's still lower. The Monster X one was, like, right at my neck. Which is weird, because this is a smaller size. But the sleeves are not pleasant at all for large. I think I just heard a string snap. No, it was this. Oh. This one is Slipknot. New Metal Wheel Extra Large Black. Now, all of these shirts originally were $22.90. No, the Monster X was $24. Yeah, the Monster X was $24.90. I guess because it was a 2X. It was $2 more. Yep. Um, but again, we did use Tor or not Tor Hot Cash, Hot Topic Cash to lower the price. So in total, we ended up paying $44. Own nine with tax. Um, apparently they have no consistency to their sizing because this one feels like it fits like the 2X. I don't know if it looks like it fits like the 2X, but it feels like it. The sleeves are as loose as the 2X sleeves. The neckline is better like the 1X. It's still not great for me just because I don't like anything touching my neck. But it's still lower and looser than the 2X. Which they're all in men's cut. So it makes no sense. But it's, I don't know, it's the dudes. 
This one's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> the other yeah. two I like, but they're both they're mostly for him. Yeah, I like Slipknot, System of a Down, Blink One Eighty Two. You wanted to get the faces. But here's an up close of all the different faces. And as you can see, they're also numbered. So if you know who's who, you can pick them out real quick and easy. Um, either by their numbers or by their faces. Even though, yes, I'm a fan, I don't know most of their names. I know, like, V, I'm pretty sure is Sid. I know Corey uh, Taylor. Corey Taylor's but number I don't know which eight. One is. Oh, well. Um, Clown, I'm pretty sure is number six. Maybe Sid's number three. I'm not sure. Anyways. But. Um, the bra does actually make the neck a lot further out. So it makes the neck a lot more comfortable. But that's if you're comfortable wearing bras. But that's. And it does make the shirt move more easily. Like you can see it's now going up. Showing my stomach when I pick my arms up. And when I didn't have the bra on, it didn't do that. So it does change the fit of it some, but this is, again, very frustrating to me <laughs> that the shirt that I got for me that I paid $2 extra because it was a 2X fits the same as this one that's a 1X. Real quick, I just want to point out the tags on each shirt. Um, can't understand why they are fitting differently. But here's the young blood one. Here's the tag for the Monster X where you can clearly see that's a different company who's making them. And then with them as well, it shows that they are merchandise from Live Nation. And then when we move to the Slipknot one, it looks almost identical to the young blood. But again, the young blood was the tightest fit of the three. So what is the difference going on here? I can't find any. Well, you did say that at least two of them are different manufacturers, right? Yeah, but Slipknot is the same as Young Blood. Is the same as Young Blood. So again, what what's going on with these two if they're pretty much the same uh designer manufacturer again i am unable to see a difference oh. other than just one says slipknot and one says young blood so this is the young blood on me um it feels fine it is a little tight to the neck for me as well um but overall it's not constricting or anything there's definitely room um, it's not choking, it's just I wish it was a little bit looser of a fit on the neck. <laughs> You're still filming? Mm -hmm. Well, my titties are legal. I know, your titties are legal. Here's the Monsta 2X. <laughs> one feels a lot nicer, but the neck feels almost identical to the young blood. It doesn't feel higher to you. Yeah, but everywhere else feels looser than compared to the young blood. It still feels nice and comfortable though. Again, except for the neck. And then lastly, the Slipknot one. Again, this is my favorite. Um, this is definitely one of the top three bands I listen to. Um, this one's definitely a shorter fit compared to the Monster X. Um, it doesn't go quite as long. The neck is a lot better, huh? It's a little bit better. I wouldn't say a lot better. It feels about the same. Um, but basically as soon as I got this home, I started wearing it. Because <laughs> I, I love this bag. I'm just saying though, doesn't that one fit or feel like it fits almost the same as the Monster X, which is a size larger? Yeah, it, it feels almost like the Monster X. The biggest difference that I'm noticing between the two is the Monster X did have a slightly longer length. And the sleeves felt maybe a tiny bit looser. But otherwise, everything else seemed the same. 
Now time for the shoes we got at Ross. This first one is from a brand called Flex Step. Um, the only information we have on it is that it is a size 11W. Completely in the way. Thank you. Uh, it says comparable value is $35. We paid $16.99. And it's supposed to be memory foam. You can kind of see inside. But it's pretty cute, actually, I think, for one that's more of a comfort. Shoe. Sure. It yeah. does hit at the ankle, like right below the ankle. But it's not terrible. I'm not sure how irritating that would be walking a lot, but just trying it on, it's not terrible. But can you see how it hits the ankle? Yeah. This one's a lot more classy. Um, original price was $15.99. We paid $4.99 on clearance. Part of the reason it was on clearance is one of the shoes is missing a gem. You can see it there. Um, but we were thinking we might either try to balance it out on the other side, make it a pattern, or remove them all, or see if we have a replacement gem. Uh, these are also size 11. And the brand... I'm not sure I can remove it. Okay, I can remove that one. On Diamo or something. Yeah, I've never heard of that brand. But overall, it's simple, elegant. And it does give you some extra height if yeah. you're interested in I would it. say that would be about maybe two inches of a heel. Um, and it's nice, firm, thick. Um... So you would have good support, good balance. Mm -hmm. For these ones, it's Bob's size 11 dog's shoes. Um, they did have one that was nearly identical, except for instead of dogs, it was cats. Um, can you pick up and so show the sole? Here it has a weird thing where your arches are supposed to be. It arches up to try and give you extra support. I don't know. It feels real weird. Like I can feel a seam around the inside of the shoe. It's not comfortable for me at all. Like that would irritate my feet pretty quick, I think. Like it's just, it's not, it's pretty tight. It feels like it's squeezing the top of my foot a little bit. And then, as you can see, the laces are one size. I guess, technically, you can tighten them, but you definitely... You can't loosen them. Yeah. But up close of the print, it does repeat. And if you look closely, you can find a cat mixed in with all the dogs. And same thing... On the cat shoe is somewhere there's a dog that you have to pick out and find. Um, and then of course there's a couple that are really close to looking like a cat but not quite. And when you do find the cat you're like oh of course it's that one. And what we didn't mention when I had them on is the back is elastic. And it has elastic here on the tongue. Which I kind of like, but that also might be the ridge Amanda's feeling. I don't know. It just did not feel nice on the inside of my foot. On the outside of my... On the inside of the shoe. But again, it has this weird ridge. So I don't know if that's supposed to give arch support. Or... To show you where your arches are. Um, I have arches. Amanda does not. So that definitely makes a difference. 
You sure? Well, you would be feeling that. Mm. Yeah, because I have flat feet. These are the Flex Step 11 wide. For me, they're just a smidge too big. Um, for my ankles, they're a lot higher, so it, the side's not digging in at all. Um, there is a soft, tiny heel. I can feel it while I wear them compared to the toes. Um, but again, it's incredibly small. So if you want to get used to heels. I don't even think that would help with that. Hmm. But yeah. But otherwise, it feels nice. It fits nice. Um, I think the fit would be better if I had a pair of like... Uh, socks. Socks. No peak socks. Whatever those are called. Yeah. Or pantyhose. But otherwise, for me, they feel fine. Except for just being a little too loose. Uh, here is the Andy whatever. Andy Amo. Um, I have no real experience walking in heels. So these actually feel really good, really stable. Um, if you have the Wii or the Wii board, it will show you how you stand in balance. Uh, or uh, some places like Walmart... They have those Dr. Scholl's machines that sell you $50, $100 insoles. Those will also show how you stand. Uh, for me, I'm always very front forward. I, I stand on my toes, on, uh, on the balls of my feet a lot. Um, but otherwise, these are very comfortable. I feel very secure standing in them um i've tried on other high heels never going out but i've worn high heels that have a smaller kitten heel base yeah i guess um and i don't feel secure where these ones i do like i'm not worried of tripping falling breaking because these are a wedge not a heel shape yeah so i actually like these ones as you can see they are strong. I'm balancing on just the heel. So I actually really like these compared to most heels I have tried on and walked around the house in. These are the F B E I Rhinestone Pony Pointy Toe Flat Size 10. As you can see, they are super sparkly thanks to the rhinestones. Uh, we haven't seen any issues so far. Rhinestones falling off, rubbing off. So, that's really good. Um, so, it does look like something that will last. And, uh, original price was $37.98. And, we paid... 1622 for them but they uh are a little bit too small i think a size 11 would have been too big that's my main problem with torrid is the 11s are slightly big but this one pinches my toe my big toe and they have that little tag right there i don't know if you can see it and that bothers the bottom of my foot but they're so sparkly and i thought because these size 11s are a little too big the size 10 might work, but they're a little too small. I don't know if they would be if they were rounded instead of pointy. But, oh well. Okay. And then next. Out. This is the K Wine LS Foxy with Lay Sleeve, size 3. Original price is $39.50. We paid seventeen seventy six, and this is with the bra on. The sleeve, I mean the sleeve, the neck is okay, not great, not bad, um, but the sleeves are kind of itchy. You can see that the lace pattern is mesh, 
And so this is probably part of what's making it itchy. I don't think so. The mesh feels pretty good. It's just, I don't know. But you can see it's a floral pattern. Um, and it's a little bit low cut. I'm not sure how low cut it'll be without the bra yet because I haven't tried it without the bra. Um, but with the bra, like if you bend over for anything, everything, <laughs> that's not even very far. Like if you can tell, I'm hardly bending at all. Yep. And, and it, you can see the straps. Yeah, you can see the bra straps. And you can see the seam right here for the sleeves. And size 3 is what I normally wear. And it feels a little bit tight. Like, I, I don't particularly like things being tight to my body. And this feels like it's sitting right on my body. Like, it's not squeezing, but it feels like it's right. Well, you can see, like, the outline of your... Shorts, shorts the buttons which means you'd probably see my belly button if i was had my shorts lower um it seems like it's about as low cut without the bras with but i can bend a lot further before it starts really gaping like this is about bent in half whereas before with the bra if i bent like that much it really gaped and it is pretty long it does go down below my butt so, I mean, it does provide coverage, but it is, you can see all the lines of my pants. But that's... Did I show the back before? No. Oops. And there's like a little keyhole. And there is something back here to do and undo. It's two little buttons. But you can get it off without undoing them. It's pretty stretchy. This is the S Rainbow LS Drop Shoulder Pullover Tunic, size 3. Originally was $59.50. We paid $26.76. There is like a slight pattern where there's some darker spots. Can you even see that? I can see where you're pointing it yeah, out. I think there's some on most of it. Um, but I think it's really, really pretty colors. It's not like super soft. But it's also not itchy. Like it, it's comfortable, but it's not like, yay, cozy. But it does feel pretty warm. When I have my arms down, it does cover like half my hands. But if I pick my arms up, it goes down below my wrist. But... So it's not a bad length, you know, just for every day. It's not like all the way in front of your hands, but it's comfy. It does kind of stick a bit, even though there's plenty of room because you can still see the outline of my shorts and it's definitely long. It would be good with leggings. It's nearly dress length, but I really like it. Party dress. Ooh, it, ooh, it. No. This is it with the bra on. I'm not sure that it affects the neckline or anything. I think it does make it a little bit shorter. And it seems to stick up now. What do you mean? Well, before when you raised your arms, it would mostly come back down. Oh, yeah. Now it gets up high enough that it sticks. Um, you can't see the bra through it. At least that I can tell. Again, I always wear a black bra. Um, but you could adjust it a bit. Not, no, maybe not. I thought you could do the little side thingy. Off the shoulder. So you can sort of adjust it to make it slouchy on the one side, but then your hand disappears. But that's kind of a cute look, I think. Here's an idea um, from some of the videos I've seen you watch. Can you get one arm out of the sleeve and tuck the sleeve into the... Very good, though. The sleeve. <laughs> no, not with this top. See, it makes a really... Turn towards me? Kind of. Doesn't quite work, but if you do it like that, it kind of makes a different look but it only goes about halfway 
So if you're going to try this look, it you would have to add like a second belt to hold it in place or, or a safety, safety pin. Pins. But no, I would say it's not worth it. It's not very comfortable. It makes it extra tight. You can see it's really stretching around the neck. You yeah. can see the white fibers underneath. So no. Nope. But as an idea for someone who might want to try that. You could also possibly go a size up or two if you wanted your hands to disappear. Last one that we have is a cast Heather Gray Jersey 3Q Raglan Skate 3 Gray. And that one just repeat and repeat itself. Um, originally $59.50, we paid $26.75. And as you can see, it has pockets. The important part. Again, they're pretty comfy. I can put my hands in them. I don't feel like it's really dragging the dress down. But I do kind of have to put my hands in the fists. I can't just do them flat. Um, but it feels good. And, and it does flare out. Away. Well, that's it with the bra. The sleeves feel good. They're like close to the skin but they're not tight the neckline's good it doesn't seem overly i mean it is gaping again but that could be the bra this is it without the bra i don't feel like it gapes i mean i think it gapes less without the bra than it does with and the buttons are actually real so you could unbutton as much or as little as you wanted it's mixy It'd be too far to unbutton for me. But this is what it looks like without the bra. So here's the rhinestone pointy uh, size 10. It is pinching my toes a little bit. But also I don't like pointy shoes, period. Me neither, but they're sparkly. Yes, but they do look gorgeous. They would be real comfortable if my toe just wasn't getting pinched. You don't need all your toes. Just ask uh, Cinderella's stepsisters. Which do you need the pinky toe? And here is the wine top. The neckline feels fine. The little peekaboo window. And then the keyhole. Um. This is a size 3. Normally we would get a size 1 for me. But honestly it feels just about perfect. Um, I feel like if we went down even a size. It would start to feel too tight and uncomfortable. Uh, the sleeves are a bit itchy. And it's wherever the pattern is at. And trying to flip it inside out. To look at the pattern. I can't see any rough edges or stitching um, that would make it extra itchy. So I'm not sure why it feels itchy, but I know it's something dealing with the pattern and the way um, they've attached it. But it's not like super uncomfortable, but I feel like after probably a couple of hours it would be like, okay, I need to get this off. Yeah. Again, I told you it was tight for me, and I don't like it that tight. Yeah. Again, this is a size 3. Normally, I wear size 1. I do not have the issue with the sleeves covering my hands at all. It's not Unless, an issue. Well, it, it doesn't do that for me. Like, even with me trying at best here, but for the most part, it doesn't go there. It's kind of more like if I force it to. Um, it is really nice and comfy in this size. Like my kneecap is here. Here's the end of the dress or well, shirt. Might as well be a dress. Well, you are like two sizes up, so. Yeah. So that definitely makes a difference. So. Be many dress still though. Yeah. And then I would assume if I had a bra. It would raise it up some and make it even more of a mini dress. I don't um, think I'd be dressed. But overall, yes, it's real comfortable. This feels like a good 
thing to wear around fall, spring, where it's still kind of cold but warm at the same time. Um, even though it's rainbow, definitely don't wear this to Pride because it would be way too hot at Pride. Um, again, we live basically in the desert where by June it's already 100 degrees. So there's no way I'm wearing this to pray. <laughs> so the first thing that I notice is this band, the Alessic band. I hate these bands because they always feel rough and scritchy. But otherwise it is super comfortable. The material's nice. Like I said, it's a jersey material. So it feels real nice and comfortable. Um, if you want to lounge around at the house or run to the store, run errands. This seems like the perfect dress to do it in. Um, but this does feel like a good year-round dress as it feels like come summer it might get a little bit too warm especially with the dark colors. Um, but it's still real thin and light. And then come winter when it is colder, you can definitely layer on top or underneath without it dealing with the material too much. Um, as pointed out, I don't know if you can see this hat on camera, but I am pointing out. Uh, you might be able to see my nipples through it because, um, of course, I'm not wearing a bra. <laughs> well, but it also depends on your bra, on your breast shape. Your breast shape. Uh, the type of bra you're wearing, so many different things it may depend on. But in my case, as of right now, with no bra, you can see them. Or at but least the outline. It is a lot more, um, it works a lot better, I think, for multiple breast shapes. It doesn't look like, oh, there's obviously boob cups that you're not filling out or anything. So it looks... I think it's something that works for many different sizes. Well, that's the clothing haul for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Are those helpful? Uh, one thing we're considering about doing for me, and that might help a lot of you, is for me to get a bra. Um, I am actually going to leave in the part where you see my chest. Um... You can leave comments down below of what size you think I am. We're guessing trainer, push-up, A-cup, and well, best. Push-up bras a type. But, but just... Something, and I feel like um, if we do do this, this will help a lot of people who have smaller chests, um, people who are transitioning or want to cross-dress. I have cross-dressed in the past. Um... Back in high school and a little bit after. But it was never done seriously. It was more just a fun thing to do. Um, and using like tube socks filled with more socks to fill out the bra. Uh, again, nothing really serious. Um, so we'll try and do that. And Well, if anybody thinks it's helpful, if nobody... Yeah. <laughs> definitely let us know if you think it's a good idea. We'll definitely give it a try. Um... And then hopefully if you do like that, we'll give that a try and that way uh, we'll do that uh, bra on, bra off. And then it'll be big chest versus little chest in the dresses. So that, that'll that be interesting. Well, that's that's kind of how it is anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right. But uh, again, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. One thing real quick I forgot to add, so I'm throwing this in. Um, we did actually get a real camera and at first we thought great, mm -hmm. but then we found out the battery was dead. So we bought a brand new battery for it and we thought, great, now we have everything. We have a memory card for it. Um, but when we first went to use it, it told us that the memory card was wrong and I tried reformatting and didn't want to reformat. So I don't know what that issue is. Uh, hopefully we get that resolved and you stop getting bad videos from my cell phone. <laughs> but again, thank you and have a nice It'll day. It'll just be bad videos from an, out an actual camera. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.